It's week 11, and that means one thing, one thing only. It's time for Liverpool and the Grand National meeting. And there's only three weeks of the season to go. We kick off with the Liverpool hurdle, a three-mile grade one hurdle. And the top one is full court press for Joshua Sutherland. Haddad, Vinnie Gerrard, Yeomanry implication for Craig Allen, Beachdale, Lola and James Shea, Cal Martel, Lily David Robertson, Loma Palmer, Blaze, Ryan Costello. And Leon van Rendenburg has got the bottom two night and day, the odds-on favourite and recruiting agent. So just eight then. Fresh from their antics at Cheltenham, these. And a big flyby of the hurdle track. And they're called in, and away they go then in the first race at the first SO7 Grand National Meeting. And they're all over the first flight of hurdles. And it looks like Beachdale Lola is going to be the one to take us along in the lead, pulling for its head. Jockey doesn't want to let it go too quickly, too soon. And full court press. Was momentarily second when on the inside recruiting agent has moved up as they pass the winning post then with a complete circuit and another complete circuit to go. So two circuits of the track ahead of them in this three mile hurdle. And recruiting agent takes them along at a pretty sedate place. I mean, just taking it up on that turn, bit of a tight turn that one, of course. And Beach Del Lola is wide in second, who's been trapped by Yeoman Reimplication. It's a long old one to the second flight. Loma Palmer Blaze is in fourth. And then the favourite night and day, Haddad and Full Court Press has just dropped back a little bit. And Cal Martel Lily is the back marker at this stage. So, making their way then towards the second, they will get there eventually. And Beachdale Lola is back in the lead and leads by a good three. So, recruiting agent has gone second. Lama Palmer Blaze up there with the big boys in third. Night and day, they finally do get to the second, which they all take nicely. The leader wasn't all that quick over it though, and has allowed Loma Palmer Blaze to move to within a length or so. In order, his beach tail lower in the lead as they get to the third, a much shorter run to that third one. And the favourite there, night and day, wasn't very, wasn't exactly foot perfect, landed awkwardly. The horse's head carriage dropping, but they get over that fourth one and uh, drop that one much better as the big crowd made their way out to this part of the track they've got a long way for the Grand National it's not until tomorrow and Beachdale Lola is in the lead by possibly three lengths to recruiting agent second night and day record from that mistake is now third then Lower Palmer Blaze is fourth I say take the fifth jump there by Lower Palmer Blaze chased by Yeoman Reimplication and full court press over together Cal Martel Lily has just tucked in behind them and Haddad is the current back marker so all eight of them still going well within themselves and about mile and three quarters still to race on this run towards the next flight then which will be the sixth and Beachdale Lola is clear well, it gets to the sixth and they're all safely over that one as well it's top class hurdlers you expect them all to be hurdling well just a one mistake so far surprisingly made by the favorite as they get to the seventh and they skip over that one as well and past the big screen past the chair which obviously they're not going to jump and shortly be passing the winning post you can see it'll be a Fairly long running after the final flight. They've got a circuit to go now. And Beachdale Lola is in the lead. Night and day is second and recruiting agent is third. Then Carmartel Lily is fourth and Lama Power Blaze is five. Full court press on the inside of that one. And then Yeoman Reimplication. And finally Haddad, who's been at the back for some time, but he's only about a dozen lengths off the leader. Making their way out in there for this final circuit. Beachdale Lola trying to make every post a winning one in the lead. Night and day second. And full court press. Cal Martel Lily. Then recruiting agent. And Yemen reimplication. Had I just gone past Loma Palmer Blaze, who's now finding it a bit hot and he's starting to drop away. Beach down lower. Still in front. Into the final mile now then. And full court press has moved through nicely into second. He's making a forward move as they take the eighth. And another mistake there by Night and Day. That's a bit of a surprise again, not jumping well today. And Beachdale Lola is in the lead by about a length and a half. Over that ninth they go. And Night and Day jumped a little bit better that time. And 
getting a little bit strung out now and beached a whole load of kicks on over the tenth and full court press has gone in pursuit so it's Beachdale Lola with full court press on the outside, then a gap of a couple of lengths back to Carl Martel, Lily, then Yeoman Reimplication. Then comes Night and Day who's trying to run on Haddage, got Haddage has gone past recruiting agent who looks to be beaten and so too does Loma Palma Blaze. But they're racing now towards the final four furlongs and over the third last they go. And a good jump by the leader Beachdale Lola, full court press in second, Carl Martel, Lily third. Now Night and Day being given the hurry up to try and come and challenge for the leading group. And it's Beachdale Lola who's still in the lead, full court press is second, Night and day getting going on the outside. How much did she lose with those mistakes? But she's still got plenty of running in her by the looks of it. Beach Dale Lola's in the lead. Night and day's now moving through in a second. Full court press looks one pace in third. Cal Martel Lily is fourth. Surely between these as they race down towards the final two flights then. And Beach Dale Lola is still in the lead. Beach Dale Lola skips over the second last. Then Cal Martel Lily's moving in the second. Night and day looks a little bit of it in a flat spot again. Then comes full court press. Beach Dale Lola is now beginning to tire as they race down towards the final flight of the Liverpool hurdle. And Beach Dale Lola got away from it well. Beach Dale Lola still in the lead. Here comes Night and Day trying to throw down a big challenge. They're racing now past the chair, racing towards the line. They've got half a foot on to go and Night and Day is beginning to get up on the outside. But Beach Dale Lola sticking her neck out. Beach Dale Lola doesn't want to be denied. Full court press trying to come between the two and they flash past the post and I think that Night and Day might just have got it on it. It's mighty close and if Night and Day did win, didn't win by much. And was only ever on the lead at the line. Beachdale Lola, so unlucky. Let's wait and get the card. It's a short head win for night and day. When your form's in, your form's in. And they say that the luck goes to those that are doing the best. And night and day for Leon van Brinsburg. Just got up to take it. Beachdale Lola for James Shad. Unlucky second. Full court press for Joshua Sutherland. Ran on again in third. Cal Martel, Lily for David Rawson. Ran a good race in fourth. And yeomanly, yeah, yeomanry implication stuck on for fifth.